Hello, this is Sophie from Trial Food Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, we're going to continue on the second part of the commotion add on, uh, just the two part deal that I'm doing for uh, Pure Geek. Um, it won't be as rowdy this time around. My wife and my children, they're out and about, so that gives me some time to do this tutorial. And with this tutorial, it's going to be a straightforward, pretty basic, pretty simple uh, use of the commotion add on just to give uh, everyone an idea of how it works. Um, so let's delete this default cube. Let me turn on my screencast keys. Let me see. Screencast. Okay, let's make sure it's working. There it is. Let's close this back up. Seven to go into the top view. I'm gonna press delete on our keyboard to get rid of that. Shift A to bring up the text. I'm gonna scroll up. And let's delete, actually let's delete the light. Delete that, and let's delete the camera. Delete that, let's scroll up on our mouse, mouse wheel. And we're going to select our text and turn the text from a curve into a mesh. So uh, make sure this is all highlighted by pressing A twice on your keyboard to highlight the text. Object, and go down to convert to mesh from curve then tab you'll see it's uh, a complete mesh now and we want to separate all of this stuff so separate all the text into individual uh, letters so in edit mode tab on your keyboard press B box select left mouse and drag over and the next thing we're going to do is go to our keyboard and press P by loose parts let's tab out of edit mode and then let's press B again and we want the text to have each uh, letter to have an individual origin so once all this has been highlighted go to object set origin to origin to geometry click on that and then from this pop-up menu let's expand that and turn this from center the center point from the median center to bound center that works a little bit better let's minimize that and now we're going to animate uh, this letter and have it affect the rest using commotion add-on. And the way we're going to do that is uh, let's left click on the T there. And we're going to expand our timeline so we can see what we're doing down here. And we're going to press I on our keyboard. Usually you would click on location rotation but commotion works better by choosing the delta location. Let's click on delta go to frame 20 let's click on our move gizmo let's pull this up I again delta location go to 40 click and drag on the y-axis give it a little bit of a bounce I again delta location go to frame 50 pull this up again I delta location now this sets the keyframe, but sometimes what happens is that, as you can see here, nothing has moved. So we're going to go back to our uh, first keyframe and leave that at zero. Go to 20. And here we're going to hover our mouse, <coughs> excuse me, let me get some water to drink. Over the Y axis, I'm going to drag it so that it goes up a little bit. Press on our keyboard, go to 40 and then drag it in the opposite direction I on our keyboard and then at 50 it's fine so when we play this through let's let's minimize this uh, the num number of frames here this ended at 60 or actually let's uh, let's make it a hundred <coughs> excuse me <coughs> got something in my throat again a hundred <coughs> let's go back to the beginning and play through we have this movement of the T now we want to translate this movement to the rest of the letters here. So we're going to expand our panel here. Click on commotion. <coughs> Excuse me, click on commotion. And we're going to left click on all these letters. Hold down uh, your shift on your mouse on key keyboard. Left click on your T, hold down shift, left click, left click, and choose this as the last one. And then we're going to click offset animation. You see. 
Then we're gonna press play again. This happens quite a bit, people, but uh, <laughs> let me find out what's going on and I'll, and I'll uh, start the video once again. And we're back. Sorry about that. What we're supposed to do is not offset animation, but click on copy. We want to copy the animation from the T to the other uh, letters. So click copy animation and then offset animation and then play. Then you have that. So with commotion, it's not like the sniper add-on. With this, you have to do a lot of prep work in order to get the animation to work properly. Not like sniper. Sniper is more like plug and play. Commotion is, is prep and play. So yeah, that's how to uh, do some simple animation with the commotion add-on. And I hope this was helpful to Pure Geek, especially and to those of you who have been watching how to do motion graphics in Blender 2.8 using the commotion add-on. And thank you guys who have subscribed and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.